Hello. Uh, Oi, Camilla. Oi. Uh, Oi. Boa tarde. Boa tarde. Boa, boa tarde. tarde. Boa tarde. What's up, Jesse? Obrigado. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's lovely. I know, Jesse. That's lovely. <laughs> so, so first, so first, um, I'm glad that everybody here is, is healthy and during this time. I'm glad to see you guys. I, I look forward to see. Well, I already seen Dangerous Lives. I'm looking forward to everybody else be able to see Dangerous Lives and all the nice. great content that y'all got coming up. First question to you, Camilla. Um, how was this? How was it? How does it feel to like expand your your career from? I know that you had the breakout role as Veronica and Riverdale. It's keep it keeps going, and everybody knows and loves you loves you for that. But how does it feel to have this and Palm Springs and just continue to you know expand your acting career with this project? That's a really good question. Um, I think it's it's awesome because I for me I'm always trying to seek out versatility or trying to like do something even if it's kind of similar, just what's different about it. Like the next project that I do, what is it, why is it gonna stand out for the other things I've, I've done? Um, and for like this moment in my career, I feel like, you know, I've got Riverdale, that was obviously my breakout role and and um, Dangerous Lies is kind of like, you know, it's got that same mystery element, but it's also got this groundedness um, and it's a little bit more realistic. And I feel like I got to play more of a leading woman, you know, like more of a, a protagonist who's kind of like, at the center or, you know, unraveling the story um, and kind of seeing her go through all the moral dilemmas. So I thought that was a really nice transition. And then Palm Springs is like, like that nice light comedy. You know, it's not a super, I don't play a super big role in it. It was just really great to be part of such a fun cast and such a funny movie. So yeah, I've got, I've got some pretty exciting things coming out. So, so Jesse, I see on Twitter that a lot of people are are now discovering Survivor's Remorse like for the, for the first time. And stuff. I, I don't know why. I mean, I, I watched it, but a, <laughs> a lot of people are binge watching through this uh, process. What yeah. what have you what have you found yourself binge watching that that you hadn't watched some old school stuff that had been out that you just popped in now that you're on this quarantine time? Um, when the quarantine first kicked off. I immediately went back and binge watched for the third time Breaking Bad. <laughs> and then after that was finished, then my mom was the only person in like my immediate family who did not believe that Game of Thrones was a good show. So now we <laughs> finally got her hooked into it. Now she's addicted. So oh I started rewatching Game of Thrones with her and she's bad. I mean, all night, eight episodes straight, like that kind of bad. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I've been watching that with her, but I've been trying to, honestly, I've been trying to watch new stuff because I'm the guy who's like, always has this long list of things I need to catch up on. And, you know, I always have these recommendations, these movies that I didn't get a chance to see in the theaters and these TV shows that I'm now three seasons behind on that I'm trying to catch up on. So I'm starting, I, I've started Ozark. I'm watching that now. Me too. And so far, it's, yeah, it's really I good. I like it. it. You know what I else I binge watched, Jamal? I, I binge watched The Boys. <laughs> I can't wait for season two. I'm so excited. I have so many questions for Jesse that he won't answer. I won't answer anything. <laughs> we got to wait till we on the, get, on the other I'll platform to we'll talk about yeah. the boys. I'm looking forward oh, to that. Oh, no. But Dangerous Lies, I, I, love, the, I love the title because it seems like you live in a, a time where, where the truth is not important and lies seem to just go out. Like, how, how timely do you think that this movie, even though it's not political or anything, just to have a movie called Dangerous Lies, to be able to conceive like how one lie can lead to another and totally. get you in all this trouble. I know. I mean, it's a like, snowball effect. You don't yeah. even realize, you know, what a little white lie can cause down the road. Like you really don't, you know, something that seems so innocent that you can put people's lives at stake. And that's something that's pretty easily shown in this movie totally. and in the world around us. <laughs> that's kind of just what's happening. It's also easy to assume that, you know, like when you see people winning the lottery or when you see like great acts of fortune happening to people, you never think about what happens after, like, and not just like right. good things, but the bad things, like the, the problems you never thought would happen. Like, okay, now that you got all this money, like what is your family going to do? And like, how are they going to react to this? And like, who are, who's right. going to come to the work? Which friends are going to appear asking for help? And, you know, I just think there's like so many uh, responsibilities that come with something so insanely 
exciting happening in your life, you know? Yeah. True. Well, love Dangerous Lives. Can't wait to see you guys on all your future projects. Uh, keep Thanks safe and uh, wash your hands. Uh-huh. Wakanda forever. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Take care. Peace out. This house belongs to us now. I'm not going to let anybody take that away from us. I'm calling the police. No. These things, you never know how it can change someone. I would never hurt Leonard. I know none of this is you. Perfect. Perfect.